Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making peanut chicken stir fry. Alright, I'm starting out here in my Copper Chef XL. I have preheating. And I have roughly two boneless skinless chicken breasts here. I cut into small one inch, one inch pieces. And I covered them with a little salt and pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and get some olive oil in uh, Copper Chef. You can use a wok for this too or just a regular skillet, whatever you have on hand. And I'm going to get my chicken down in here. I'm going to fry it in here until it's nice and browned up and no longer pink on the outside. So we're not cooking it yet, we're just frying it right now. Okay, now that my chicken's brown, and I actually was mistaken, we cooked it through so it was no longer pink in the middle, it took about six minutes. I have that pulled out and set aside. I have a 20 ounce bag of stir fry vegetable mix. Dexter, be quiet, I'm recording. I'm going to get this in here and heat this on medium heat in the copper ship till it's heated through and no longer frozen. Okay, while my stir fry vegetables fry for a while and I heat through and they thaw out, and I will be doing a video on Dexter next week, guys. I think he's pissed off because he hears me talking, but I have a blanket wrapped around his cage and he can't see out here to see what I'm doing. So we'll do a video on him next week. While my vegetables are uh, sauteing here and frying, we're going to mix the sauce for in this. I'm going to start out by putting a 13 and a half ounce can of coconut milk in here. And this is the first time I've ever worked with coconut milk, guys, so... Hopefully I don't mess this up. I'm going to add in one third cup of peanut butter and I'm going to eyeball this. This is where the peanut comes in in our peanut chicken stir fry. Okay, that's looking about good. I'm also going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of red crushed pepper flake. Go a little heavier or do without if you don't like to heat it like more. A half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And some salt and pepper to taste, about a half a teaspoon of each. I'm just going to stir this together and let it set aside so our vegetables warm through. Thank you, Dexter. Okay, now I allow my vegetables to fry for just a few minutes and they're heated through. I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken back in there. And I'm going to add that peanut butter sauce we made in there. Dexter, you are a card tonight. Now I'm going to turn my heat down to low. I'm going to allow this uh, sauce to heat through and let the peanut butter dissolve in there. And let everything warm through. Alright guys, now that this all heated through and the sauce blended, I have three packs of Raymond noodles here that I cooked to directions on the pack. You can get any flavor you like, but don't put the flavor pack in, you just want the noodles. I got the chicken, I'll save that later because I can use that for a chicken base for a chicken noodle soup or make a gravy out of it or whatever. I'm going to take my Raymond noodles and we're going to put them in the uh, stir fry. And if we get a little bit of water, that's fine because this peanut butter coconut milk sauce is really... Uh, thickened up my noodles there now you can also drain these in a colander if you like but I'm all about the less dirty dishes the better let me bring my pot over here all right, now that I have all my noodles in there I'm just going to give this a quick stir and blend the noodles in with that sauce and you don't want to overshoot your pan like I almost did that would be cool. Alright guys, this is looking pretty good. It's ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. Okay guys, I'm going to add a little so light soy sauce to mine. This is uh, to preference, whatever you like, if you don't want nothing at all. I just like the extra tang that it gives it. And I'm using low sodium because soy sauce is so salty that uh, I like to do sodium stuff. We can here give this a taste. Funny thing is, while I was uh, off camera, I wasn't talking, the bird was totally quiet. Now he hears me, he's squawking and carrying on. Chicken's nice and tender, cooked through. Taste that peanut sauce. Creaminess from the coconut milk, a slight taste of from the peanut butter, but it doesn't taste like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or nothing like that. Grab some ramen noodle here and uh, a pea. That's really good, guys. Now it has a 
slight peanut butter taste, but not overpowering, and a creaminess from that coconut milk. If you don't prefer that much of a peanut butter taste, you cut that peanut butter down in half from what I put in. So there you have it, guys. Peanut chicken stir fry. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.